Hi friends, Denise from Salvaged Inspirations, and I have a fun and easy trash to treasure makeover for you today. This curb bound TV table is getting a brand new life with tropical paradise. So just let me get set up and I'll be right back. Let's start. Here's the Here's the trash TV table I started with. And you may remember this tray makeover as well as it's been sitting out in my garden slash yard for the last year or so. I started by giving them both a really good cleaning with white lightning, which is a TSP substitute. I like using a large sponge to wipe everything down. And then once everything is perfectly clean, I'll wet the sponge and make sure all the residue is taken off with clear water. I was having a lazy girl day, so rather than sand the tray and the TV table, I used Slick Stick Primer. And Slick Stick is in replacement of sanding, so it adheres to all different types of slick surfaces, uh, laminate, plastics, uh, glass, tile, etc. Uh, so what I did was I applied a generous amount onto the table and the tray. It's very easy to paint on. It just acts exactly like paint. I apply it, make sure I get enough of it onto the surface, and then using my paintbrush, I smooth everything out so it actually has a very smooth finish to it. Once I primed the TV table with Slick Stick, I did the exact same thing for the tray. And as you'll notice, the tray has a patina finish on it, which is exactly the last makeover I did for it uh, for use under my gazebo in my garden. Uh, but I wasn't really worried about any of the texture. So what I did was I just applied the Slick Stick right over the textured surface and you'll see why later on in the video. Once my slick stick was all dry and I did a scratch test to make sure that it adhered to both the tray and the TV table, it was time to paint. Uh, and I used cotton, which is a beautiful pristine white chalk mineral paint. However, <laughs> uh, my cotton paint was a little thick as you can see here. When using chalk paint, and it doesn't matter what brand of chalk paint you're using, the older it gets or the more it's exposed to air, uh, for instance, if you're leaving the lid off while you're painting, it does thicken up. This is very, very natural since it contains chalky properties in it. Uh, so to thin it out, I just use a little bit of water and I mix it all in thoroughly to get a smoother, more thinner consistency to the paint so it glides onto my projects a little bit easier. An appropriate or desirable consistency, paint consistency for me, is when I use my stir stick, mix it up, and as you can see here, it has a lot of body as it's dripping off the paint stick. So it's continuously dripping in one continuous stream, yet it has a lot of fullness and body to it. This way it's not too thin and it's not too thick when I start my painting. Using my oval brush, I misted it with my spray water bottle and then I went ahead and I painted the underside of this TV table. Once I was finished with the table, I took the same oval brush and I started painting two coats onto the TV, or sorry, I'm sorry, onto the tray. I'm just gonna backtrack a little here, uh, something with the slick stick. As you can see here, I flipped the table on its top while the slick stick was probably about 80, 90% dry and it tore some of the fabric up with it. This stuff really sticks. Now I just went ahead and painted right over it anyways because it doesn't matter. I'm gonna put the tray over top of this TV tray tabletop, which you'll see once it's staged and styled. But just be careful when you're using slick stick because it does stick to everything. 
Now for the fun part. I found this tropical paradise uh, furniture transfer in my supplies and I just love the green against the pristine white. So I went ahead and grabbed two sheets. Uh, six sheets actually come in this tube, but only two were required. And how you apply them is super easy. So you just place them where you want on your piece of furniture. And in this case, I placed it about halfway on the tray because I was going to use uh, one sheet for half the tray and then the adjoining sheet for the other half. So here I am placing it pretty much dead center on my tray. Once I had it in place, I smoothed it down with my hands very carefully. And it doesn't, again, have to be perfection. I find it easier to just press it into the corners and then trim it with a craft knife or a box cutter. It works quite nicely. So here I am just trimming it with a craft or utility knife. And so long as I'm pressing it into the creases, it works quite nicely. Once I had the transfer cut to size, I used the um, applicator stick or the rub-on stick included in the transfer tube to rub on the design. And this is very easy to do. You just have to apply uh, a normal amount of pressure and you pull up the top mylar sheet. And once it's adhered, you'll know. Because if you start pulling up the mylar sheet and the design starts pulling up with it, you know it needs a little additional rubbing. Once the first half was adhered, I went ahead and applied the second half of the transfer. And with transfers, you'll always uh, find that there is an attachment transfer with it. Like you'll notice that these leaves will line up nicely. So you just have to make sure that once, once you've removed the backing and you place it onto your project, make sure you line everything up nicely so it doesn't look wonky, so the design doesn't look wonky. So here I am just lining it up perfectly so all my leaves adjoin and it looks like one continuous pattern. Once I had everything aligned perfectly, I repeated exactly what I did on the other side. So I used my hands to smooth out the design pattern. And then what I did was I pressed it into the creases and the corners of the tray and started cutting off the excess with my utility knife. And don't worry if a little bit of the design sticks uh, onto the sides where you don't want it. You can just take your utility or craft knife and scratch it off. Just make sure you don't press it down because otherwise it's not going to want to come up. So again, once I had the design in place and the excess cut off, I rubbed the design and pulled up the mylar sheet as it started to adhere. And I just went ahead and did that with the whole sheet until it was all finished and adhered 100%. And check this out, isn't it beautiful? Seal and protect this table and tray, I use Dixie Bell's Clear Wax. And I find that water-based waxes work beautifully when it comes to transfers. So I just use this large brush and I rub the clear wax all over the design and my painted tray on the sides and the table and wiped the excess off. And that's it. So let's take a look at the before. And here's the after. And I have to say this greenery on the pristine white, I think is adorable. It's just lovely. And I can't believe that these were trash bound pieces that turned into something so cute. Uh, I can't wait to hear what you think. So I hope this makeover has inspired you and given you a few ideas on what you can do with your furniture. Uh, if so, please give it a like. I'd love for you to comment in the comments down below. And be sure to visit me over at salvagedinspirations.com where I have over 500 furniture painting tutorials teaching you how to make your furniture beautiful. 
Until next time, I hope you have a fabulous week and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye guys.